all right guys so today is a little bit of a different video i'm doing some i'm doing an oil change on my car and i'm going to show you guys how to do that so you only need a few things a jack some jack stands um a little uh what do they call this thing it's like a filter um screwdriver filter wrench you need that and you need like a little socket to go inside of it um oil and obviously an oil filter and that's about it so i'm gonna show y'all what we got here oh you need the oil can too to to catch the oil at the bottom of the uh, car so oh, here's my lovely saturn 1996 she's a beauty isn't she Shout out to uh, BC. I got that green and gold just like you. <laughs> I didn't even know I had it until the day when I took a look at it. But anyway, so y'all see here I got the jack. Little jack stands under there on each side. A little uh, tire catchers back there to, you know, so that way it don't roll. But it's not going to roll anywhere. And all right. And then under here you got the uh, oil, oil thing. Oil pan to catch the oil when it drips out. I haven't taken it off yet. But we'll be getting to it. And obviously over here we got the oil and the oil filter because we will have to put the oil in from the top as soon as we drain it out. But, and then here's your oil filter. Looks just like that, you know. But yeah, other than that, you don't need too much. You just need some elbow grease and some water because it's hot as hell out here. All right, so we're pretty much under the car. It's up a little bit, okay. This right here is your oil pan. For you, some of y'all that don't know, and this is the little uh, where it's gonna drain from, oil, oil drip pan. So we gotta unscrew that, take that off, and then we can drain it out. The filter here, this yellow oil uh, filter, we're gonna take that off and replace it, and then that's when we'll be done with our oil change. So we got it loose. I'm being dramatic over here. It is loose. So, uh, all right. So what we're gonna do now is unscrew this. There it goes, see? It's a good way to get burned right there. So, it's warm, but it's not hot, luckily for me. Uh, and I just ruined my damn blanket here, but it's okay. Cost me five bucks. I feel like oil got in my mouth, but I don't know. Car, we're going to open the can, the oil, um, we're gonna open the oil uh, thing, right? Oh, and take that off, that, that wasn't supposed to happen, but. <laughs> put that back okay so we want to take that off so that way the air can get through there and uh let more of the oil drill down now we're working on the last part of the oil change had to take a break there real quick you know had to take a break and re-up get some water you know it's high out here and i figured i'd just give the car some time to drain and i think it did as you guys can see car is not dripping anymore so we should be able to go ahead and put the new filter on get that screw back in there put the oil in the top close it up start the car up let it run for a little bit and we'll be good to go Ooh. all right so stick this back in here just like that as soon as we find the hole all right you do want to lubricate this just a little bit so it's got some of the other oil on there but yeah. So now we're done with the bottom of the car. All we gotta do now is put the oil in from the top and then 
Um, I gotta clean up all this shit here. But I gotta get me a new blanket. Y'all probably can hear my sister in the background. She's on my iPad. <laughs> She's cleaning her car. And in a minute, we're gonna go and vacuum the cars and get them all nice and clean. So, this is the first time I've been under this car though, because I've had it since February. And I mean, it's not bad, it's a nice car, but. All right, we're done with the bottom half, so we can move to the top now. So you wanna make sure you get the right oil for your car. So mine takes, uh, say, 5W30, uh, most Saturns do. But if you don't know what oil your car takes, a good way to check it is on the cap, so the oil cap. And it'll say right there, see 5W, huh, say 5W30. And then you know what you need. So with this, we wanna pour it in slowly. What you wanna get. All right guys, so we got the oil poured in. Now all we gotta do is take the, uh, take the car back down. Um, so what we're gonna do is lift it up. Here, I'll show y'all. Use this jack, lift the car up a little bit, take those uh, jack stands from under there, then go on the other side of the car, lift it up, take the jack stands from under there. And if you're wondering why I left the jack, stand, the jack on there, it's just for extra protection because if you guys can see these jack stands, they have, well, you probably can't see it right there, but, but they have like little ridges on them. See those little ridges right there? Right there. Those little ridges, sometimes it, the these uh, jack stands are not that sturdy. So always leave the jack under there or or you can leave like a tire under there just so that way if the car does fall, it doesn't fall on your chest, it can kill you. So yeah. Done jacking it up, taking the uh, jack stand out. You turn this here that way, but you wanna do it slow so that way it doesn't the car doesn't just fall all the way down. We'll drag it around the other side and we'll do the other one. You want to make sure that you're dragging it up on the metal frame of the car because if you, if you jack it up on the plastic, you're going to crack the plastic. much we're done with the oil change we got the oil in there now all we got to do is crank the car on and let it run for a few minutes to get that oil in there and we're good to go so we'll close this up yeah it's a dirty job but i like working on cars so i figure you know why not show y'all a little bit about what i do sometimes from time to time um yeah it's fun and these are pretty easy to work on so I do it all right so we're gonna turn the car on and let it run for a little bit let me get that oil in the uh, gears and everything and you want to make sure that you write down that number of how many miles you were at so that way you know the next time to change your oil which will be in three months or in 3,000 miles whichever comes first just do the change so that number is, hang on one second, let me show you. So it'll be this number right here, the 1,000 or 104,862 is what I'm gonna write down. And I'm gonna write that on one of this sticker here, well, a new one, and then we're gonna put it up there for three months to change it. Or when this says 107,862 is when we'll change it. So you put, the cap back on here and then this right here has a little screw top so we just open that and we 
dump it into this bottle here. take this to AutoZone. You really just go in there and hand it to them and they take it away. And so that's it guys. That's all there is to an oil change. It's real simple. Um, I think it probably costs like what 20, 30, maybe 40 bucks depending on your car to go ahead and do your oil change doing it uh, through a uh, service company. But it cost me like what 14 bucks for the oil. I think like three bucks for the oil filter and that's pretty much it um of course you got to have all this other stuff like a jack and everything but i'm not adding that into it because um the jack i've been had and you're gonna need that for like different things too like when you know you change a tire or something like that so basically this is like a 20 dollar project um and you don't have to wait that long time at the dealership or not the dealership but at the car uh car uh, place to, to get your oil change done it's real simple but yeah so here we are <clears throat>